What up, everybody? It's Thursday, and um, today I'm doing stuff. All right, so until I get a job, <clears throat> it's pretty much the same routine every day. The same hustle routine every day, except I added a few steps to the routine today because today is actually the first day of this new routine that I got started. But for the most part, it's still the same routine every day. Start out the day I wake up, of course, and then after I wake up, I, pre I read the Bible. It's the first thing, first things first. When you wake up, I read the Bible because I want the word to be in my head from the beginning of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to start off the day and the word's just already in my head. So then that way, you know, you just have a good word in your head. And you can read the actual Bible or you can read devotionals. And um, depending on the devotional you get, you know, it could be my devotional is is actually not even a devotional like it's it's telling me to read like six or seven chapters or something like that but you got devotionals that will have you read the the um the chapter and then it'll have like a little story behind it or something it's all cool as long as you start off the day with, with God in the middle of the day be with God and at the end of the day be with God so be with God the entire day but I read the Bible first after I read the Bible, I pray, and then I just do that brushing of the teeth and washing of the face and stuff. And then, it moves on to this. I always um, apply. I always apply for at least two jobs a day. I've applied for like 50-something since the summer started. But like, every day, I try to apply for at least two jobs. So that way, come hiring time, I should have people calling me back. Skipped my workout for the day. I was supposed to work out today, but I skipped it because I got to be, it's 546 right now, and I'm trying to go see that Planet of the Apes double feature because I haven't seen the first one so I'm trying to see the first one and the second one and they're doing a double feature at 7 o'clock. I was applying for that job for so long a long behind application that I didn't even get to do a lot of stuff but I gotta go see this movie man. I gotta get out of the house. Alright so I'm pulling up to the theater it's 6 16 because I don't care what anybody says I'll be driving and I got here on time. And uh, it's not packed, which is good. But like, usually, I want it to be packed. Like, I want there to be a thousand bajillion people because if there's a thousand bajillion people there, it just feels like I'm in the, I'm doing something popular, I guess. But, uh, nope. Not that many people here, but it is Thursday, so it's like, why would there be a lot of people here? But, uh, that's cool. I'm about to go see what's up with this double feature of Planet of the Apes. Dawn of Planet of the Apes. And the rise of the Planet of the Apes. It's supposed to be like, I'm thinking they're going to show both movies, the first one and the newest one. I'm thinking they're going to show both, the first and the... The second, I just said that, but uh, yeah, and I didn't see the first one, so I want to see that, and then right after, see the new one for the price of one movie. <sighs> Who on their right mind wouldn't do that, but uh, yeah. All right, so the first movie is over, it's 8 48, the movie was good actually like I'm actually glad I came and saw it the f when that monkey said no 
That was pretty funny. And then he said, Caesar is home at the end. That was funny, too. The next movie doesn't start until 10. Show. I shall wait. I don't know if I want to go get something to eat. Or what. I got a headache. So. Everyone's here on a date. Which is cool, because you know what I'm saying. I got my date. Say what's up to the people, babe. I'm the only one in the car. Guess I'll just read the Bible as I wait for this next movie to start. If this Frosty doesn't make me... If this Frosty doesn't make me feel better, I might have to just chuck this one up as lost. Go home, cause my head hurts. I don't, I feel some type of way, man. I just wanna lay down. Mom said she made healthy dinner. I'm trying to eat some vegetables and stuff, and then I'm trying to just go to sleep, man. But we'll see after I eat this Frosty and drink this water. Probably should have got this frosty a little bit earlier. We got this about 9.30 and that's typically if the movie starts at 10, that's when you're supposed to go see it. Well, that's when you're supposed to go in the movie theater at 10. And I really don't like eating frosties. I like drinking them out of straw. Don't judge me. So, what do I do? Gotta get you a water too. <laughs> that way you you know, ice cream can dehydrate you. But, I think I'm going to leave some of this in the car. So that way when I come back, I have some water. 9.36. Alright, part two, let's get it. Well, that's over. But, uh, yeah, that was, it was a cool little day. Um... That Frosty definitely saved my life. God saved my life, of course. It was, it's always God. Anytime you're about to die and you don't, it's because God saved your life. He put it in my head to go get that Frosty. I still have a slight headache, but it was not as bad as it was. I feel like I got energy, like... I don't know why I'm telling y'all all of this, but if you have a headache, Maybe you need to drink a, a, a chocolate ice cream beverage thing and some water. I forgot I had the water. See, that's how it comes in clutch like that. You know what I mean? Still cold. Just finished this little meal my mama made. And now I'm reading the Bible. Just like I told y'all in the beginning of the day. You start the day with God, you, in the middle of the day, be <coughs> you start the day with God, you go through the day with God, and you end the day with God, and your day will be okay. I had a headache, okay, my stomach was hurting, but I'm okay. Today was not a bad day. I love y'all. Good night.